Hi folks, this is Sonia. It's Tuesday, April 2nd, and I wanted to show you what we're living with. We hired McRae's Construction Services to help us get back into our home after the Hurricane Florence. We called them right after Hurricane Florence, and it got delayed for about a month because we were waiting on FEMA money. However, it's now seven months later, and this is what we're stuck with. And we just wanted to show y'all and make a documented video so that we have this for our records in case legal action had to be taken. This is my master bathroom. And as you see, there's no plumbing at all. Electric wires hanging. Very sloppy work. And they tell us, because we've given them $75,000 that it wasn't enough to complete the job. It is a 3,000 square foot home. We know it's a big job. We expect it to pay. However, since September, October, November, you would think that we'd be a lot further along. This is my master bedroom. Really cute, isn't it? It's a big mess. This is what we're left with. And look at this. There is an electrical wire wrapped around a beam. Okay? That's my master closet. And they were supposed to be doing electric. They were supposed to be doing my tankless water systems and plumbing. I don't even see 5%. Okay, I'll give them a little bit. I'll say... 40% of the work done. I don't see it. And I definitely don't see $75,000 worth of work in here. This is my sewing room. They tell me that $40,000 is in three, th two ton, or they call it three ton um, air conditioned units, Arco air units, and I have one split unit. And that's $40,000, they tell me. But as you see, it's not hardly completed at all. I don't see $75,000 worth of work so far being done. And what I do see, probably a professional contractor could have done in a month, maybe. I just wanted to show you a brief walkthrough of my home. Look at this. This is our lighting. It's on a drop cord. And sorry about the poor lighting in here. It's early morning. This is my microwave. It's on a what? It's on a drop cord. So I'm just giving you a brief overview of what we're dealing with. I'm going to take you upstairs so you can see where we are. Okay, so we're upstairs. This is the upstairs living room for the kids. And I just wanted to show you, again, the shoddy work that's being done. This is the heat that we do have upstairs. The black is plastic that we put up to the walls so that we could kind of contain some of the heat. This is our bathroom. Here's our bathroom, guys. If you look very closely, sorry about the poor lighting. This is the so-called plumbing to our shower. And here's our tub. There's no plumbing connected to the tub at all. Sorry about the boys' towels. We do have running cold water, but we have no hot water, as you see. No hot water. And then, let me take you into our bedroom. This is our bedroom where James and I are staying. Plastic up to the walls. Sorry about the mess. And this is how we turn the lights on and off in here. That red, we attach it to that wire in order to get some lighting. Okay, this is where the boys are staying. Right here. Ah, good job, Malcolm. I love your bed. You did better than mom today. 
this is where they're staying. Their lights are on a drop cord. Again, we have recessed lighting here, but it's not working as of right now. So, this is the panel box where it's supposed to be hooked up upstairs. Well, here it is. Just sitting here, not completed at all. Again, more wires, drop cords, lights. We gave them $75,000 and they claim they're pretty much done. They're going to hook us up temporarily to the panel box to try to get it inspected and told James he had to unconnect the wires in order for it to pass inspection. This is the den. As you see, it's a complete mess. Sorry about the vacuum. Mount Shantae is vacuuming the floors. We're trying to clean up their mess. This is my dining room. And so I just wanted to document to you guys and show you that we're not crazy. And again, I can't see $75,000 worth of work completed here. And we are looking for help and don't know where to go at this point because FEMA won't help us because we can't get the necessary information from them. They're afraid that we're going to see how they're price gouging us, which we know they are. Um, but I just need them to give us the information we need so we can try to get additional help. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you, and sorry to take you through such a messy tour, but um, here we are.